you can see I've got uh, maize established quite well, but there are there are some gaps which I can see, and uh, like if you there's a gap here and uh, there's a gap here, and from your explanation, if we did the calculation, we have um, eighty percent. Yeah, about crop stand. Uh, yes. So yeah, what what caused these gaps? So the main problem here is. Um, is uh, we sprayed for cutworm so we planted and sprayed for cutworm you see this one's wilted yeah it, it, you might even find a cutworm there so at the end of the day um, we we should have sprayed again sooner and this wouldn't have happened so now we we actually quite short of um, maize in here this the plants yeah so they came in here and um, it was already too late. The cutworm have already eaten all of this stuff. Right. So we had to make a decision whether we um, dig this out and replant it again or just leave it. So 80% is okay. It's not the best. But it's okay. But yeah. it's okay. So that just means that you're going to lose 20% of your, of your yield. Right. So do, do you think... Okay, living is not the best, but that's what you're going Th to do because it's 80% yeah. going up, right? Yeah. yeah. What, what um, if you gap fill? No, it doesn't work. We've gap filled here to show you, but it, these plants, these plants here, these little ones here, will never catch up to this one. Yeah, it's true. Because th this takes all the fertilizer. You can already see how thick the stem is here and how thin that is. And I know I pulled it from over there, but the, these are not, never going to catch up because they get shaded out first. As soon as the maize, this plant is up here, there's no sunlight down here. There's no aeration. There's no sunlight. aeration. No, the roots no are sunlight. even spread all yeah. over and they're taking yeah. the moisture, yeah. nutrients, everything. Yes. So mm, it's, it's mm, no good mm. actually coming in filling. You're actually so wasting your money. Yeah. When do you recommend someone to replant, destroy everything and I, put again? 25%. 25. Yeah, okay. like 75 20, which is 7, 25 yeah. percent less, which is 75 yeah. percent. Yeah. You can come in and replant. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's more viable that and, way. And the, the problem with re replanting is every week you get behind, you start losing uh, heat units in your soil. So it's absolutely imperative and important to get this right in the beginning uh -huh. without having to re come and plant again. Okay. Because it actually costs you more money than just 20 percent of the yield. Because you, you, you're battling against all the elements. You're putting down fertilizer that didn't yeah. need to be put down. Yeah. So at the end of the day now, you, you've lost your money. Yeah. And I've seen the other maze there, which you're going to show us, which yes. you just demonstrated as, re, as, as gap filling yes. so that at least people can see the difference. Yes. Huh? yes. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look. Let's go and have a look. The plant, the, 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 the crop which you get filled, like I can see these short ones here. You see yeah. here? Yeah. The, the, yeah yes. This is the refill from over there. You see, this is never going to have a cob on it. Yeah, because if you compare this to this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not, and it's, yeah, it's almost uh, a third of that. Yes. And it's thin. Yeah, yes. yeah this one is thick. Yes. Huh? And, and this. Uh, this yeah. is thick because it's getting the fertilizer from that little yeah, one. Yeah, I like this one. It's showing some signs of deficiencies. Yes. Huh? So this, yeah. is, this deficiency is zinc and magnesium. Zinc and magnesium. Mm. What about co uh, no, copper is peplish? No. Yeah. So zinc and magnesium. Yes. And uh, now, if you look at, uh, at these, what, what does it mean? Does it mean these are robbing nutrients yes. from this one? Yes. Because uh, these smaller plants have already... Um, suffered because they they haven't got the root system because they were planted late you see yeah so th that's the problem that you have and and so you it's no point in refilling really. exactly so this is the result yes this is yeah, the result. you're wasting seed yes. fertilizer yes the time, person management. time and the management the person who's going to work around this if it's calculated it's loss of money huh? yes. revenue to the yes. farmer yeah so there's no need huh? no yeah i can see look at the, <laughs> this one is worse huh? yeah look at this one so huh? that one that one will have um these would have been very small and then they got a little bit bigger maybe a week apart yeah. and they came and planted that one so once they planted that one, you can see the size. Look, it's just tiny. It's it's not good and even. You see its root system. Yeah, it's very it, shallow. Oh yeah, yeah it's true. Look, 
it's trying to compensate. Eh? Yes, yes. Yeah, it wanted to go. Yes. <laughs> but no, it can't go anywhere. And, and you see, if you pull this one out now, you'll find that these roots are already Even this big. bigger, yes. They're so, actually encroaching into this one. Yes, and yeah. that's, that's why that will never grow properly because all the roots are encroaching into this one's territory. And stealing all that. And, and it can't trans, compete moisture. because the roots are too small already. Exactly, exactly. Mm, mm. Okay, sounds good. So yeah, there we are farmers. Gap filling doesn't pay. 80%, you can leave your crop risk, uh, take a risk and leave it. But if it's below 80%, 70-75%, it's best to replant. Yeah. And then you get your yield yeah. rise. Huh? Mm. Okay. Yeah. I can see the crop is looking beautiful. Look, good stand, height, exactly the same. What could have happened here? This is, this is because... Um, here we controlled the cutworm properly. Yeah. Uh -huh. At the planting was irrigated properly. You can see all of the stems are the same size. Yeah. You know, along here. And it's all even. And mm. this is where we're going to get our yield from now. All right. here's, here's one that is a, a little bit small. Mm -hmm. But you can see how thick the stem is here. Yeah. It's already Very. compensated. And, and I like it. Look. Yes. One, two, three cobs. Yeah, yes. they might not give us full cobs all, but yes. you might get from two. Yes. The third one might be a tiny little one, yes. but it's compensating. It'll huh? compensate wow. here because wow. it's used this fertilizer. Yes. So fertilizer is very important here because mm. you can see how big the, the maize is. Exactly. Wow, beautiful. So what's your yield expecting on this? This we I'm hoping we'll get more than 12 tons. Of, wow, uh, per hectare. Yeah, uh, per hectare. Well, wow. 1.2 tons of here. Yeah, off yeah. here, huh? Yes. Uh, because of the size. Yeah. Hey, because of the goats, goats ate it down there. Uh -huh. uh, with, and there's some sandy stuff. We might be down a little bit and the refilling. And the refilling. Mm. And I understand it was eaten by cattle again on yeah, the other corner. Yeah, and we want, to, we want to measure those cobs to see if they come back to the right standard. Ah, what. okay. It's important. Yes. Uh, the yes. recovery. Yes. To see at what level yes. does it recover? Was there any the really damage? Yes. Yeah, the real damage. The yeah. real it's damage important. at the moment was just fertilizer. We had to yeah. put in extra fertilizer to get it to so that boost it, it up uh, a bit. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful, huh? Good. Wow. I love that. Look at the crop stand here. Yeah. Yes. And the height. Yes. Hey. Beautiful crop. So 12 tons. That's a that's good yield, huh? Even even in sandy soil. For, even for 10 tons. Yeah. In a sandy soil. Mm, but mm. it's got to be planted early. Yes, yes. That's you the know, secret. Like the huh? First of October, September, somewhere there. Yes, that's the secret. 